and it's 200 gold or something like that. So, well, it's, it's, it it's money. Up. It can add up. Pays the bills, you know. It's, it's, it can add up. But we'll see. Uh, but yeah, no no sort of crazy. But I'm, I'm still thinking back to... It's a good job that this patch isn't the one where... Do you remember that that patch where we had uh, the dire side would auto-stack the ancients? That was, oh, yeah. That was that, one of my recent patches. That was terrible. Oh, yeah. It just didn't make sense. There's, other, there's a How couple other happen? really big ones that, great. that oh. we didn't actually talk about. Oh, well, we it's the uh, range creep attack acquisition range. All right, so what's this? That one's actually for harassment or harassment. The creep okay. will not turn. In, the range creep will not turn attack you as yeah. early. You can actually get pretty damn close now to harass. So like heroes that are a little bit more than six hundred range, you can freely kind of attack over yeah. that range creep without aggroing it. And well, well uh, I think we mentioned all the others. We mentioned really. the courier. We mentioned tangos. starting gold. We mentioned the tangos. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and, and oh, the, they, the tree. They removed the they tree removed in the, the tree. Radiant Jungle to the top right of the blue. They removed crystal. the tree. Anyway, guys, go, we've got a game. <laughs> we, we've got to get the draft on your screen. Game one has begun of OG versus King. We're going to cause our first series of the day here. And oh, we've got as uh, the two winners of the two games that were played yesterday. So, all very exciting. OG's Exalt. Radiant. Ah, this is because of the crystal change. No, I'm just kidding. The crystal? The tree near the crystal, blue crystal. I'm just kidding. Oh. Well, I'm really... What? What's a crystal? OG, no, OG took the... I'm just... Oh, shut up. Whatever. Never I'm sick of you. What is a crystal? There's a tree removed near the blue crystal. Oh, there's a bit on the map with the blue... I was... I, was, I thought there was some Dota town I've never heard of. No, a was, crystal? Was, or like some old school name for runes? What's, what's a crystal? Well, but people I, actually... There used to the be... bit on the map that looks like used to talk about waterfalls and stuff a lot. And now it's like one of them is actually not existent anymore. Well, one of them's so, gone, one, isn't it? They removed yeah, one. Yeah. Long time ago. But yeah, so we're going to look at the priorities and drafts. OG, banning the enchanters, of course, from Kinguin. Uh, big big ones that we were seeing yesterday between these two, or between at least OG picking is uh, that Rubik, that Elder Titan. I think they'll probably open up with that again. Team Kinguin also plays the, the, the similar kind of thing. They play Rubik, they play ET, and then they throw Dazzle in there sometimes too. The big three. Both teams share a lot of heroes. Yeah. Jaro carry as well. I like, and I like the, because Naga, of course, being banned. I mean, that's yeah. a hero that, if you're good with the micro, with the illusions, you can stack multiple camps quite easily. You get a lot of gold. So, Naga getting buffed, didn't need it, but she's got... That was one of the one of the things, of course, interesting, though, is it? No no hero changes, Fog. Just sort of missed that we didn't get any hero changes, which you think is okay? Or you're hoping for hero changes? I thought we'd get... I actually... I really thought we'd get some hero changes, yeah. but I actually kind of like this. It's a little... It's a different okay. approach, and I feel like... I mean, this is why Ice Frog's a genius, to be honest, is that there's... It so does many, what you don't expect. There's so many things that you can change in Dota, though, and, and when he added 7.0, it's like, he doesn't need to just change heroes. He can change ch talents, and now he can change the way the whole game operates and everything. Honestly, Ice Frog, just way too good at this. There we go, Elder Titan is getting through. And Sanking. And Sanking. That's a strong oh, two for they King. both. Okay. I mean, oh, you're, yeah, you're right. I guess there's a support pair, a little bit different, but it could be... It, I mean, yesterday we did see King win play Sanking as the core offlane, so... Yeah, I think, no, probably I mean, it has to be, right? I mean, not I, they might do some crazy support duo. I don't know. like that support duo. I know, well... I don't like, double, know. I don't like double melee support. Double melee, melee almost now? ever. No. Okay. So yeah, Sand King offlane, Elder Titan in the support. OG, Rubik. they'll grab the Fly Rubik we yeah, saw on the highlight clip. He had a very good game yesterday. There's a Sand King. Yeah. You, got, you got some dream steals already throughout the game. And yeah, they love it. Fly went... Fly was the highest level on his team at one point. Actually, yeah. in multiple he had points a great in that time. game. He had a great... I can't remember it was game one or game three, but it was, yeah. I messaged very him and he was just like, it's just one of those games. That's pretty much all he said to me. Coddle does get banned out. A brute taken away by OG, and now with these four bands, what else? Do, what else do we really see from Kingwin? Work out nicely yesterday against OG. Ten seconds oh no, not against OG. Sorry, against OG. Yeah, what am I on about? They, I think they, they could ban the void. They did do obviously the. Uh, they were doing the venge strats, weren't they, Kingwin? They did like to be the niche revenge. Yeah. And with the Elder Titan, Venge, Dazzle, I'll be honest, I would be worried about them if I was OG because I'd that's be... what they did yesterday. I, I, I would be concerned about the Void. Like, that Void combo. Are you think the Void combo? E.T. Sand King already? You throw a Void in on top? Did King win play Void yesterday? Didn't they? No, you're thinking... Again, you're thinking of oh, the game I'm against OG. Game against. That's what I was thinking yeah, about. Thinking about but no, remember, too. King win are the one with running Niche Avenger. Yeah, spirit. they were Niche Avenger. And they were game. winning games in like 20 to 30 minutes. But they have ran Void in the past with E.T. Oh, I mean, sure, yeah. I mean, so. Void is definitely still good. Yeah. Absolutely. But, uh... I, I said, the Venge, they were very good at. Yeah. They were very, very good with Avenge. They love sort of the minor Sama strats, and Elder Titan already sort of offers a part to that. And uh, can punish Tiny. Tiny, not not really the best hero for armor, so... Yeah. So they ban I'm, out. I'm looking for the Venge Dazzle. Ben out, I'm looking at uh, Lifestealer Dazzle. Lifestealer Dazzle. I think Lifestealer yeah. Dazzle, Venge Dazzle, or they can throw in that Void, plus one. Mm -hmm. They could even do Void Jakiro. 
I know they really like their Jakiro, even though it's versus Rubik, who can get lots of good spell steals. I think they ha they already have like the setup for the combo, and they already have like multiple initiators for the Void to get get his spells off easily, get the yeah. turn off on several heroes. So yeah, yeah Void, uh, uh, Void, Venge, or Life Stealer carries for Kingwin look pretty solid here. OG. They've been kicking. They've been picking a little bit differently, right? Because we didn't expect them to go for that arc warden yesterday, and something they did. We no, thought they picked they more did, standard they, carries. They did try that last pick arc warden, which did not succeed. I think they want dragon knight for OG. I for think Dra DT. dragon knight or death prophet, at least one of the two. Yeah. This the classic OG pushing so this, this is the Jakiro or the dazzle. Oh, okay. Well, they go for the bane, and bane. straight immediately, OG, no hesitation, Lone Druid. Ooh. Instantly picked up. I'm surprised. They do get their Life Stealer for King Gwyn. It will be Life Stealer. I, I knew it had to be yeah. Avenger Life Stealer, but the Bane, they picked out one of, into the Rubik again. Rubik is gonna, I mean, Fly can have an incredible impact already in this game, based off the, based off what he has at hand already. But yeah, the Life Stealer, as it is against the Tiny, I guess quite good for chomping down the bear of Lone Druid. Good versus, yeah, great versus the Tiny. That's yeah. the main thing, is... You can eat that here, and he can't toss you away ever. But and yeah. they already have the infest with the uh, sinking. But the yeah, that lone druid. It's always scary when you see a lone druid get picked because it is. But I've seen many times before how much that hero can get done. I think this is also gives a lot of freedom to the Rubik because now they can leave him in a one v one versus Absolutely. the sinking, and this Rubik can kind of roam around. So I'm just going to put him in the river. He's going to be running to bottom lane probably. But mm -hmm. what is the Jarex hero? Ooh, what does Jarex want to play this game? Looking at what we have on Kingwin. Tusk could be nice. The way to cancel the TP of the Lifestealer, the Rage TP. Tusk is certainly good. Quite good versus Bane. You can still have a bit of control around it with the Shards, even when he's raged. It could be... Yeah, Tusk. Yeah, Jarex Tusk. Tusk I'm looks sold. Um... What else have we got? I mean, yeah, the Tusk as well, to, to get the save, you know, teammates get slept, you pick them up before the uh, exactly. splitter hits. Yeah, 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 a lot of things to I think to it's dodge. really, really strong in this. Jar Jarak's Tusk, yeah. yeah. Certainly a lot of good good reasons to play at this game. He hasn't been playing it an incredible amount lately, though. He's a good Tusk, though. He is a very strong He's a very good yeah. Tusk. And maybe as well, with uh, sort of the uh, the change to the mid with the towers, you could argue that getting nice sharp blocks are even more potent, because they're stuck under the tower. And, mm. uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is why you tune into the Corsair Dream League. Honestly, but just for this top easy, tier easy. analysis. Easy. Bam! It's also, it's a pressure. Go, you it's got pressure. It. It's good versus yeah. Life Stealer. It's great versus the ET, like you're mentioning. It's it's good versus all that combo. It's just, it's a no-brainer. No-brainer, boys and girls. Okay. But as you said, well, they haven't really picked it in a while. Oh, uh, they picked it yesterday, but oh, that's other than that, that's it's, kind of recent. Other than that, they've kind of just, that. they've kind of just gotten uh, Jarex actually on oh, his brilliant. heroes. He's gotten they've gotten his Air Spirit. He's gotten his Elder Titan. He's yeah. gotten his Chen. Yeah, so I like the task. Uh, back to Team Kingwin. Their final ban, as you said, are you still sort of considered? Well, ban Terrorblade. Right, you ban Terrorblade or Razor well, against OG. I mean, you do, well, you think uh, you think S4 is going to be playing off Lane Tiny? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Oh, I left it there. Uh, yeah. Hmm. The thing is, it's scary, right? You, which one do you want to take out, the razor or? Like, you don't think it's more likely to be razor laundry no tail time? No tail. Right. It's no tail laundry. Oh, no tail. Razor's played it sometimes, hasn't he? Does no tail always play it? No tail most of the time plays okay. it. Yeah. Okay. I see what King win. But you said with well, the Terrorblade, one of the heroes. It's, it's, it's got to be the super good against. I, the, like, I guess they can there. just put the laundry in mid. And they ban out the storm. You know, they've got okay catch. Not great. It's just really the sinking as that guaranteed disable. But it's pretty decent. And OG. I'm, I'm scared for this life, life stealer, to be honest. Well, He's got a great matchup versus Lone and Tiny. But I think this last hero, the, the, I, if I see I've a got Razor. Another pick to deal with it. If I see a Razor. Oh, shoot. Razor's not been banned yet? That's what I mean. Oh. If I see a Razor, I'm really scared for oh. this life stealer. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, that is true. Yeah, Razor is there. But then they don't really have team fight on the side of OG at all. But what can actually solidify them team fight? Maybe they, maybe they go Crossworks and Vogue. <laughs> okay, they ban the Death Prophet. So OG's final pick. You're expecting, of course, to be Rezo in the mid. It's gonna be, man. What does Rezo want to play? Is it? Is it Razor? Uh, it is. Yeah, it's Razor. I mean, it's honestly, bang on. 
It makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. I, know, I think King was going to be kicking themselves. They banned the Storm rather than the Razor. I think so, too. I, I, think, I think this one was really... I mean... Yeah. This one can go mid. I think they can they can vary their lanes a bit with Faroji, but this is this looks pretty strong. I think they now. might try and get the tiny mid and get the razor in the lane with the life stealer. They might do that. They might go. Yeah, they might swap it up. That's very true. Oh, we'll see. We'll That's see. a good point because they can just see they have the they get the information right here. They know exactly what's going to be mid. So final pick for King Win. What is Deer going to play? Did they ban Brood? They didn't ban Brood. Well, he picked Brood for himself. Is it a good Brood game? I mean, there's not a Brood player. The AOE. Not a Brood player. I mean, I mean, Eve, but I don't think it's a good Brood game. I don't think it's a good Brood game either. But he does game. like it. Um, other more standard options he could go for. Uh, what we got? Hmm. I mean, uh, Shadow Fiend. I mean, I'll be honest. I think I don't like it though. I think he's thinking about playing Tinker. I think. Um. Yeah. Like, guess, what's wrong with the Tinker uh, this game? That's a good point. What's one of the like what, they ban the storm that he doesn't want to be caught out. How else do OG catch a tinker if he's playing smart? Oh, like that's the a trees? good call. Sniper or tinker? I think they can, they can oh. be in the back. Line. Got the elder time with the tinker as well. It's nice, but oh, it is going to be SF. SF. Man, should have stuck on my gut. SF. Okay, explain the SF. Why? Why? Why they go for the SF? They got ET. Right. They've got a lot yeah, of mixed match going physical yep. damage. He's a ranged hero that versus uh the razor. And look, it is it's Rezo Razor, S4 Tiny. Oh, thank you. Very nice. Honestly, I'm awake this morning. You are. This, this is a good morning. You've got me, what, 12 more games? Let's so go. They better enjoy it whilst they have these, the top two analysis at the start, because uh, we may falter. We're, okay. we're definitely going to start faltering. We've got 12 games ahead of us. There, but here we go. One, two. Oh, hell yeah. This was this was nice. Look at this. So, the Nishra SF and Exotic Deer will play the, the Life Stealer. So, prediction time. What are we thinking? You like the SF with the ET, but it, I do. it is OG on the other side. I I have a lot of trouble going against a lone druid in this day and age, especially um, one that's in the hands of no tail. So I, I, I have to go with OG. They, they've got a, they've got a, they have got a freaking razor against a lifestealer. So I'll go with OG. That's exactly what I was going to say. There's it's a razor a, versus lifestealer. Lifestealer yes. had great matchups. He was versus the tiny and lone druid, which are pretty okay for pretty good versus And then they the ban the storm. And then they get a razor. And so then they let them get I have to go OG. They've got, yeah. they've got like four comfort hero or three comfort heroes as well across the board. Uh, I'm, I have trouble going against Elder yeah. Titan a little bit because I think that hero is super good right now, and I have for a while. But yeah, OG, they've got they've got some good stuff here. They have, the, and as we sort of said, yeah, the Jarak's Tusk, the Rezo Rays are things that we thought looked perfect, and they got them. Yeah. yeah, these these two picks, a lot of ways they could work, but as always, King Win, they've shown us some great shows in the past, and they might still put the tiny. They could still put the tiny in the mid though. And then, then we'll try to get the razor the directly in a lane. That I mean, gonna, they've got options. Win. It depends how they want to do it against. Uh, yeah, I guess because there is going to be that SF mid. It is. It is going to be the razor mid. It looks. Yeah, it's razor okay. mid. And the itemizations already kind of. Yeah, anything different? Anything different because of the patch? So we have fly. Gets he buys two, so six he tangos. Buy, yeah, he buys six tangos. Tusk also buys six tangos. So Tusk. Yeah, Jarex is going to have a lot more regen throughout that. He's got clarities. He's got. I mean, everybody's just got a little bit more. Pretty much is what it comes down to. But the, the starting items now for mid have changed because in the past it was Wraith Band or X of your and stat. The pool tangos. Three, three branches, two pool tangles, but now you can't afford the three branches. True, because so now it's a branch and a fairy fire, which I think is actually. I like that. I think that's much better. more exciting. Yeah. Much more exciting. More more outplays. Yeah. Et cetera. All right. This All is right. Cool. We got a pause. We have got a pause. Who are we blaming for this? Who's we blaming? Who's um, got the pause? It was Exotic Deer. Come on. It's because they picked Come. Razor. He's like, oh, okay, guys. I got I to gotta change everything up. No. So we should be uh, should be good to go pretty shortly. But yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see. As we said, there's a lot of matchups in terms of hero-wise that sort of say this is going to be a very hard game for uh -huh. Kingpin. But maybe they can do the big plays. So, change the Elder in, Titan and such. Changing items on Elder Titan too. So Boots, Tango, Clarity was the old one. And now it's, at least for Cat Sword, it's Boots, Tango, Mango. Okay. The Mango. Now, Tangos are cheaper. It's so you get less, but you, you can, can get a Mango. You can Mango. That's I actually that's pretty neat. Extra bit of regen. What a hero that's already got a lot of regen. Yeah, strength hero. So you. It looks yeah, it helps. like it looks like maybe Elizaj is having trouble connecting or something, or maybe he was FK because he hasn't bought any items, so they don't actually ah. have a courier on the dire side. Oh, no courier. No courier. That's, just yet. that's not the seven oh nine strat. Quite the opposite. The fifty gold courier. I mean, do we, do you think we'll see with the uh, the price of the courier? Would it ever change to where it's actually worth a core at the start buying it, and your supports? Getting more for themselves. A core buy. Uh, there's, there's teams that have 50 made. Gold. Teams that have made their cores kind of buy it, but I mean, it's only fifty now. Whatever. And now, oh my god, now you can actually buy smokes in the start of the. Ah, oh, he's for argue the best, honestly. 
Like, oh, remember how much people were just like, oh my god, smokes are so expensive. They were, now well, they used to be what, like 180, was it? Now they used to be 50. No, they used they to be used 50. To be, I mean, not the old time ago. They were always 50. They were always 50? Yeah, and then they made them 80. They weren't more than 50? No. Oh, I just never bought them. I know you didn't. I'm not a support player. <laughs> I know you didn't. No, now they're 80. Uh, they're, they're 80. Now they're, you've they've got gone gold, up. so. Oh, this is. Okay. Oh, man. I'm, I'm really interested. I'm really excited right now. This is great. Wait, when I, did smokes change to 80? That was uh last patch. Well, oh, uh, seven oh eight before, yeah, seven oh eight, seven oh eight D, seven oh eight D, I think it was. One of those seven oh eight, maybe. I think you're right, seven oh eight. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The game begins. OG versus Kingwood. I'm gonna pick some who are fucked, and this. Let's game. do it. So, we'll see what lanes we get. As you say, it looks like Rezo is gonna stick with the mid on the Razor. We're not gonna see Razor get sent to the side lane. And uh, yeah, I'm interested as well. See some S4 Tiny to see how he makes the plays. He was having a good day yesterday. Just oh, a good back game from him. Dude, this the, look at these Bane items. The Bane is stacked this game. The double mango he's got. The double mana. mango Bane. He actually can refill his whole mana pool. Except for one mana. So he will be missing one mana. That's you. some good maths. Some good maths. I want to see him contest his runes. You, you, you want to make sure you get free bounty runes, surely. It's beautiful for your whole team. Come on, Kingwin, they're just like sitting back. I want to see him getting getting involved. You know at, what I want to see? At the moment, oh, dude, Lundra is actually going to be great now. Because he's, he's one of the best heroes for grabbing two runes on his own, isn't he, with little resources. I so mean, now he easily he, secures At the start rune. of the game, I mean, the other bounties are still the same. No, I know, but it's yeah, the start yeah, yeah. of the game. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, he's scared. Oh, come on, Lone Tail. Are go. they going to get two? Oh, no, they're not. S4 gets slept. Nah, so two for two. Two for two. S4 will eat some harassment. He will be sad, but he's got double mango, so he won't be as sad. Yeah, getting beat back a little bit, but as you say, they're he's got the regen, so they're they're dodging on Kingwin. I think they need to. Yeah, I think so too. I think they, they need to, to have this life stealer really big in this game. He needs to be able to farm a lot, because I do think this razor is a huge problem. Yeah, I think most of this game is going to be on Nisha and just the combos that come out from Kingwin, but they do not want him to get shut down as a life stealer in their game. So, I want to see how much Katzor can actually abuse the Elder Titan in this game. Because we saw OKC uh, uh, yesterday just constantly stacking up camps and kind of using that to be a beast in the early game with the Spirit. And also, now stacking camps is just more beneficial in general. So, I'm looking forward to this mid lane. Fairly even matchup. I think maybe the Kingwin draft, the Kingwin lineup is a little bit better in the laning phase because, I mean, two ranged heroes. And look at that, he's actually just using the sleep to try to guarantee Nisha last hits. He used the mango nice and early though. Didn't go for the brain sap build. No, Sand King versus Tiny. Tusk versus Whoa. Tusk and Razor versus Shadow Fiend Bane. They need levels on the SF and Bane for them to be. They, they do get a good that's gonna be your kill. Okay. They get the shard trap on Nisha. He's absolutely stuck in there. He tried to he tried to put down a tree to block off the vision and such, but. Yeah, that, that's that's the Shadow Fiend suffering straight off the bat, thanks to these sharp plays from Jerax. Yeah, the Bane SF needs level 2, and then they're really strong. Level 1, they're quite weak. It's all about that level 2 and you've got raises. On the top lane. S4 versus Patos. So far, 6 for 3, 8 for 2. Bottom lane, there. Deer. He's trying to turn and lifesteal back up to keep himself alive, but I think he's still going to die nonetheless. Surely he's going to try and hide in the tree line, but no tell. Chasing him down. He's, he's, he's looking for the juke. He looks dead. I think it's going to be a slow and painful death indeed, and he's gone. Got a little too close down on the bottom lane, diving in on very low health. Okay. All right, 2-0 for OG. Everyone's just running to bounty runes too. I love this. And Jerex is out of there. Mm -hmm. So, two bounty runes for OG. So top lane should be kind of a trade farm lane. You'd think tanking King because it's versus a melee wins, but the thing is the Tiny's like that. He's that special one. He kind of just does great for any matchup. Rotations will change that lane, though. So mid, 8 and 5 on Nisha. He's still farming just fine after that death. But those beautiful shards by Jerex. Gotta yeah, keep, gotta keep eyes on this moves. guy. Great moves from Jerex. See if we can... Uh, Doing once again, he is heading back towards that mid. See if he gets a chance to do anything down bottom. Also oh. being taken away. Fly. Lift and Fade Bolt steals the last hit of the Centaur. And they're bringing the full tri lane down bottom now. So they're leaving Nisha kind of on his own. 
He's got levels now, so he's got the raises. So he should be able to last it better, but he has to watch out for the Jarex rotations. Yeah, Jarex is in position to make so Ketsar and Ellie Sash can't get close to that mid. Flight makes the pulls. No tell. Ooh. Continuing to get pretty nice farm down on the bottom there. Kind of like three farm lanes. See, so it's really up to just the rotations of the supports to get the kills in this mid. Nisha's just kind of get linked up. Cats are there. He will get a stomp off on Rezo, but they can't close the gap for the three races. And there's a tusk there. So, like we said, the tusk pick in this game is super nice, especially versus that Elder Titan. But, grab the bounty. At least Ash will be able to <laughs> go in with a few right clicks and get his own. S4. There's a hasted Elder Titan hitting him right now, but not a whole lot of mana. He does have a mango to expend, but they won't go for this kill. Uh, just the slow punch by Ketzor. So S4. As that south back up to full. Now, 1k lead for OG. So they are having that slightly better time in the lanes. Oh, top. S4, maybe. They've got to get the stomp on him at least. He should have a chance to throw back the avalanche. Or not if the burst strike comes in like that. He does get it through. But it does not matter. Pados does fall low. But we'll be fine. So nice setup there from Katsor. Gets themselves the first kill on King Gwyn. Now Nisha. Back towards mid. Being chased down by Reza. But Nisha will be fine. I wonder how the math on that all works, too, because they got 376 gold for the kill there on Tiny, but they expended two mangoes, so it's really like 176 gold change, right? That is true. Hmm. But still, it's a, it's a, it's a positive it's a kill. change. It's, it's I mean, yeah, absolutely. It's, still it's, it's, still, it's always good to get kills. Mid. So they can find it. They've got the sleeves that have Anisha being kept uh, away from Rezo by Jarex. Jarex is just giving them this SS at the slow. But Rezo, Chase down. trouble. Rezo, he did not expect this sort of movement from Exotic Deer to come towards mid. He can't quite close the gap for Open Wounds. As level 1 Open Wounds, that cast range is not great. So, a bit of a waste of time there for the Lifestealers. He heads all the way to mid and is unable to find a kill. Oh, this is this is awkward now, too. Life, uh, Lone Druid's already level 5. He's got... Yeah, he's level 5, Life Steer's only level 4, and he's got phase boots on the Lone Druid as well. Exotic Deer is not having a fun time this game, neither is Nisha either. He has already been sent back to base. Oh. Castle. He's looking for some creeps to bring his spirit ah. to. He's got the move speed on him. Oh. He should be able to get him S4. Oh, S4's him. here to save him! Jarex, I will save you! Jarex will now proceed to kill himself. Gets the deny to the neutrals. Nice. But the three cores of LG are absolutely free farming bottom. Noto will get pressured a little bit. But turns and starts hitting deer because he's got level 5. Noto is not afraid. I mean, yeah, Noto is just going straight in onto this lifestealer. Exotic deer has to run right was, back. With the roots. <laughs> he would have been fine. He's got 14 one charges. I mean, there's no way that Exotic Deer can sort of trade far, uh, trade right clicks with Lone Druid now. With the no. level difference, it's just far too hard. In this 1v1 matchup, he needs some sort of backup to come in if he wants to make an attempt on No-Tail. Yeah, and No-Tail. TP's his bear back, brings himself some more regen to stay healthy. Tango's only 90 gold now. Not as many charges, but... Definitely a quality of life thing. Yeah. And as people have pointed out, it's nice now because the Tango's... The visual actually represents how many tangos it is. Mm -hmm. So, the realism is there. The immersion is perfect. The immersion. <laughs> actually, three tangos. S4, Patos continuing to just harass him a bit. Still, though, both kind of trading farm, sinking a little bit ahead, though, because of that rotation that yeah. did come out. And still, as you've been saying, Niche is just having a nightmare of a time. And mid, again, Katsor caught out by Jarex. This is uh, this is the power of the Tusk in this lineup. He's just so threatening in deer bottom. Again, the uh -oh. roots. This time, no tell. He's getting them out. It will be the one charges, but dear. Can he get out of here? They've got the vision. No tell getting a kill. Just to go and show, as I said, it, this is a lane where the life sealer has to be very careful in this 1v1 now that he has the advantage on the lone druid with no tell having this lead. And four for one, 3k gold lead at the eight minute mark. Fly. Does need some help, and he will have it in the form of S4 coming across for Fly. Does still fall. King Gwyn get the kill onto the support. We'll get out of there as well. Rezo's hasted coming up. 
and see what he can get. He's got more rotations. Jarex is coming in too. I want to play around. There's already a TP out. When the SK Rezo is just going to turn his attention back They're swapping. towards mid. Yeah, swapping lanes up. They need to have Deer get some farm. He's yeah suffering way too much bottom. So Patos, who's having a pretty good time, should be okay versus this, this low injury. As long as he doesn't get chain rooted. I would say that. And yeah, his Burrow Strike is still on cooldown. If he gets rooted his again. His Burrow Strike's going to be back. So he should be fine. Unless he lets himself get re He's come back in on this. Ados, he's got to be careful. No tail very low, and let's let No tail will back up with Kiss Catsaw. Oh. Kill new. The Raw's there. Short. That was close. Sends back the ET. And a good job for No tail that he survived, as he is very close to having that Midas recipe. Yeah. Oh, he's, uh, just a, uh, under 100 away from it. That was close for both of them there. Yeah. Pato's dropping in one hit from death. If a rule came out, he was absolutely dead. No tail pushing his limits. Deer has been forced to actually jungle. This is this is not not good for Kingwin. They're gonna fall. For, they're gonna start falling really far behind. Both of their cores actually are jungling right yeah, now. Yeah, they just can't go in any lane. As it seems, with the uh, the edge that OG have already managed to get on them with those early movements. OG's pressuring top tower as well. They're gonna have to rely a lot on Patos in the early game now, Kingwin. He's getting close to blink though. He's having a pretty solid game, but he's gonna have to be the one to brings back to bring back his shadow fiend and his life stealer. But they are actually looking for a smoke play here, Kingwin. They've got the level four raises with the sleep setup. They could get most. Jarex quickly breaks the smoke though. Oh, Jax. nice little sharp luck there onto Ellie Sash. No follow up though, of course, at the moment. As you say, with that room, might be able to set up something. Kingwin. They will know, but they don't actually have any sort of sentries down around this area, so we can still look to get a, a smart angle, Jarax. Nisha, he walked right forward up into that one, and he is gone. The snowball across Jarax, he sets up for not just one, but two. Katsaw taken as well. Ellie Sash is there with the Nightmare on to fly, but Ellie Sash, she's not going to get this surely because the backup comes in. Fly will be saved, and OG clean up all three. And this what was is... just a bit of a mess from King Win that. An absolute blunder already. OG having this ward behind the mid tower. They see the supports are there. But they know how far they are that they can just commit because Shadow Fiend is very easily killed from all this burst damage and the way they can close the distance with Tusk. This Tusk pick for me was actually just so perfect. Yeah, I mean, as we said, it in the draft it looked like it was going to have a good impact and Jarek so far has certainly been making the moves with it. Yep. And lane tower will fall as S4 gets the last hit onto it and bottom lane, no tail, nearly finishing off this bottom tier one himself with the lone druid. Top tower looks like to be the choice next for OG and Kingwin. They're just at such a bad point in this early game. All three of their cores kind of had just impossible matchups. Just a bit behind, a good amount, but actually behind all of the OG cores. Yeah, and this is versus a lone druid. You don't want to be behind versus a lone druid. Yes, this yeah, no tell is going to hit some good iron timings with the oh. smartest radiance. No he, put, he went face boots and he put him on his bear. Usually you just see like the brown boots. But he actually, because he was using him on his hero initially for the harassment. Interesting. Rezo. Oh, well, they've got the epicenter yeah. and the fiend script. That'll do the job. Nice. It's a big kill. Taking down Rezo. Does cost the two armaments, but I don't do anything to, to take those cores off the map. Yeah. For any bit of time from OGs. They do still continue to be at the top and well with this tower as well. Even more so for OGS for cleaning up another tier one off the map. Yep. Kingwin's got Patos' blink dagger though. Epi is down, but they can still look to make non-stop moves with this. I don't think that he should pretty much ever stop, ever start like farming in this game. Uh, at least not in the early game. They he should just make really make plays. plays. They've yeah. got to try and force OG off the map. At least force force them back from some of the lanes, because at the moment, as we've seen, OG have just been able to be in all three lanes farming. Yeah. They've got to try and take control back of one of them. Might be able to punish bottom. They could go for some infest play if they want to. Only level 5 on the ET, and like we said, no ulties available just yet, because Bane and... Sanking Eustace. And Eldisage is walking through a ward right now. This is going to scare No Tail. He's going to scout out the Bane again. Let's see. The rest of his team is rotating down now. Ah, 
And that's how it takes the Nightmare off the bear of himself. But there is that wraparound from Pados coming in with the first strike. Rezo is there to help out No Tail. Katsul with the sleep, able to create the distance, jump forward from S4, immediately able to combo down Pados, they surround Exotic Deer with the root, No Tail gets the kill, Ellie Sash isn't going to be able to TP out either as Jarex closes in with the snowball, they'll take down all three, No Tail's friends turn up in time. The bait by No Tail. He saw the Bane coming in so he did expect a rotation, but plays very aggressively because I mean, he's 1500 HP. Yeah. Well, as we saw there, S4's uh, item timing coming to play did just pick up the Blink Dagger, allowed sure. him to get straight in on top. And yeah, this John chase down, Rezo can keep the gap very close, Nisha will try and put him off with the Requiem, but flies in, jumps forward straight away with the stun, they do lose Rezo off the death Requiem, and now Fly, he is going to be fine, walks out of range of the uh, Spitter, a one for one, I mean with King Wim being behind, they will be happy with that trade. Taking down Rezo, Exotic Disc trying to see if he can close the gap onto Fly, but Fly is a little too speedy. Yeah. Does get out. S4 is a big problem for them, this guy. Yeah, he is Blink massive drum treads. Tiny. He can actually burst. Can he actually kill this? I think he might be able to burst the SF too. So SF's 1200. I think that, yeah, at this point with the SF's items, he can definitely. If he has one charge, I think SF can live, but he can almost burst the Shadow Fiend. Let's yeah. see. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, he's going to try it. Oh, hello. You teep it into this. Oh, it's close. It's he still close. had HP uh, shit front on. And uh, he should still get the kill. Ooh, no. No, not with the Phoenix Grip coming in. All right, S4. Got a little ahead of himself. He still had the HP uh, regen from the fountain, so. Yeah. He gets comboed kind of low, but then ticks back up. Pops a wand. I thought If he didn't have HP, uh, fountain regen, I think he does die there. On top, they got the setup. Looking for Jerax. Jerax. Surrounded by the deer and Katsuo, nice shards to hold Exotic Deer back, he goes for the TP, is that going to be enough? No, Infest damage is there. Alright. Nearly, nearly nice done by Jerex, but... Starting yeah. to catch up. Kingwin. They've got their armlet now on the Lifestealer, so he's he's actually kind of a hero right now. But uh, speaking of that, Rezo and a fly. they're looking for the wrap behind. Oh, but Fly is there indeed with the Burrow Strike, Katsuo thinking it may have just been Rezo on his own, but it wasn't the case. Rezo takes down Katsuo. Still, obviously, they, they may have got the S4 kill and the no tail. Oh, sorry, the resolution kill, but no tail does continue to free farm down, down bottom on that lone druid. And still, it yeah. is that 5k gold lead for OG. King Quinn just needing to make a, a few more of those plays. Patos looks like he wants to set up for mid, but he walked through vision of a ward. That same ward that helped them get those kills bottom. He'll jump forward. The Burrow Strike. Exotic Deer comes forward, but there's the same play. Sharp block from Jerax means the Lifestealer can't chase. Now the turnaround from OG. They're moving with the Telekinesis. Wars Punch as well. Pados has one more Burrow Strike with a Blink Forward S4. With the uh, with the swag play there. Tossing the tree and blinking forward with the tree. As it flew through the air for the punch and the beat down from the log. And this gold lead looking very scary for Kingwin to have to go up against. Fly. Okay. I mean, this is the dream. Lundra just able to farm. His yep. team's just running around making plays for him. S4 oh, running in. Oh, Nisha does get the Requiem up. They've got the Fiend's Grip as well. Onto S4. S4 picked up by the Snowball. They're trying to get him out of there. S4 falling low. The Ancient sort of helping out OG here as they come in and slam down onto Kingwin. Fly will fall. Jarax shards down. Castle taken out by No Tails Bear. He'll turn his attention towards Exotic Deer, but Pados. He's in with the Blink Burrow Strike. Onto both of them. Jarax walks his way out of the Sandstorm. Ellie Sash able to TP back to safety. No Tail also will TP out of this one. S4 is looking towards Nisha. Does he want to chase? He's got the combo back in a second, but he will not die for it. We'll let him go. And this is exactly what we were mentioning in the draft. This Tusk versus Elder Titan. He actually just saved his course right there. Sure, Fly dies, but more than worth it there. They baited five heroes to make that rotation. They only lose a, one of the supports to absolutely perfect snowball to dodge the splitter. And as you say, the items continue to fly in for the two big cores. I mean, S4 as well, but Rezo has now got that S and Y complete and no tail. He's just about half the gold away from having the recipe for his radiance. Yeah, his team is just yeah making plays all around the map for him. And he's also been getting involved. He's 4-0-2 on this Lundred because they've been, you know, Kingwin's trying to put the pressure on him, but OG quick to respond. Kingwin. They still are quite a ways away from catching back up. Nisha is going for the Hurricane Bike rush to kind of pull them away from him, but he's still suffering quite a lot. But the bear now, they won't be able to clean this one up and he will be able to use his Midas safely. 
do think they need to keep using the Infest. I think they should keep on the aggressive here for Kingwin. Infest with the Sand King. Just so they can make space, because this Shadow Fiend is just way too vulnerable. He needs a BKB in this game. Just as much as he needs this Force Staff to distance himself from the Razor. And they will look. Infest is up. Patos. Looking to get aggressive. There's no vision on the bottom side now for OG. That ward did finally die. It's spotted by by No Tail though. Jax. Spot out the Sand King, block ooh, him off ooh. with the shards. Now he's just kinda look at him. <laughs> Jarex playing on the edge. Yeah, Radiance. Radiance minus 19 minutes. Solid timing for No Tail. He's got yeah, with the phase boots on top. Yes. So that's like a little bit of that addition. He's extremely farmed on this lone druid. Both him they have they have a tricore strategy. All getting close to that 500 GPM point. So they're in a very comfortable position. 8k gold lead. Kingwin all just... They're just sitting back. A bit afraid to make moves now because it's been responded on so quickly by OG. Rezo is pushing out top. Rather deep with himself. Nisha forces him back with the Requiem. Tried to catch Rezo off guard, because they had vision of him running in, he tried to just get like the Requiem combo, but Rezo a bit too speedy. And now they actually know that that ward is there, they were pinging it out. And here they go, OG, smoke move, Kinguin, couple of them are in position here. Pados, he's looking for the epicenter, goes in straight away on top of Resolution, Resolution getting bored down low, hiding the tree line for now, now the backup comes in for the rest of OG. They roll forward, squishing two of Kinguin straight away with a snowball. Oh my. As they near, I mean, they nearly are Brezzo I, there, but he's got too much, too many stats with the SMY, the, the epicenter combo, not enough. I actually thought he was going to get brought down there, yeah. too. He just, nope. Jarex was there, too, comes in with a snowball afterwards. Doesn't end up dodging any of the big spells, but does heal him up with the urn afterwards, too. And now nope, they've got a push timing. They're pushing the base, 20 minutes in. Kingwin is not really ready to fight this. And S4 jumps in, toss back, Nisha caught out. S4 with the perfect setup. And that's no Shadow Fiend for 50 seconds. OG are not stopping this push anytime soon, surely. Nope. They want this Rax already. What can Kingwin do? They've got the uh, Pados tanking back up, but he hasn't got Epicenter. They've just got to let this go. 21 minutes in. OG cleaning up their first set of Rax from Kingwin. Rax down 15k behind at the 21 minute mark versus a lone druid lane lineup this is going to be really tough for them to bring this one back they like we were mentioning they need the bkb on the shadow fiend but he's going for the yule's build and exotic deer also just way behind his timings yeah it's been a bit of a rough one for king Gwyn here and i think as we said that the draft definitely a part of it definitely OG yeah. got everything they kind of wanted yeah. here. Getting this Razor last pick, Rezo, just... Acting as this frontliner who's just non-stop making moves with Jarex. Kingwin. They kind of have to all play as a unit. They they can't split up really versus this OG lineup. But that's going to make them get further and further behind in the gold. Cats are mid. That's the combo. Quick death. Doesn't even need to right-click him. I ain't wasting any of his tree charges, S4. There. Trying to go in onto the bear, but they can keep the distance. And when that rage wears out, as we get more Pados, we'll come in with a two man power strike. Earth Spitter isn't going to connect onto any of them. As Ellie Sash gets run down by the bear, S4 comes in with the kill security. He's looking for Nisha. Nisha will be able to force away. Pados does get the epi, but oh, that S4. dodge. S4 blinking away at the same instant as OG will find Nisha. They'll find Pados. They might just call this in a second. Rezo in the base. Yeah. His team is all alive as well. Katso. He'll die. Sonic dead. Also dead. He'll also GG. Die. GG is called. And uh, yes, King Gwyn will be looking to probably just forget that game happened because that was not. It just. They never got to play Dota in that game, really. Yeah. The lead that OG had very early on. 
the lone druid pick made it so that the supports yeah. on OG could just constantly run around and put pressure everywhere while 